guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episode six of Sasaki and Mia now, so let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Alright, what the heck happened with my boys today? Because, you know, we gotta know. Mm. This is the weekend? Seems like one well, no because I just saw yeah, it's a weekday. I'm so zaki. Yeah, you're still trying to figure it out. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Oh. So cute. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah, that's fine. No, I mean... Oh, of course there's dramas as well. That's it. That's very similar to, like, some of the, um, quote-unquote, like, adult-ish types animes where, like, some of them will get anime adaptations and then the other ones will get, like, a live-action version. Like, <laughs> coffee and vanilla. <laughs> So you want to take a chance on him? I, I know, I know, I know, but take a chance on him, please. You will probably not regret it. Well, it's a good question. I mean, it's more about feelings and, you know, how does that person make you feel at the end of the day? Especially when you are around them, near them, they're right in front of you, they're not with you during the day. I, I mean, oh, uh, God, you know what? Mm okay, how can I compare this? This is like, okay, so... Let, let's say one of your, you know, your anime husbandos or your anime waifu is real, right? For Because for me, I have too many, once again. Um, <laughs> if the ones that I really, like, because I have a list of, like, the top ten, or well, I have too many, once again. Um, if any of them were real, and the feelings that I have about them when I see them on the screen, and, like, when it's a day when the show isn't airing or I have to wait until the next episode. Like, of course, I get upset. I'm like, oh, I have to wait to see them again. The best things are always reading really good fan fictions about them and stuff, whether it's ones where you're just hanging out with them or anything else. It's like that good, good, mm, that just good, juicy goodness. Uh <laughs> Or just like anything, especially when it's someone you really care about. But when it's like times when they're not there with you, you feel empty and such. Especially when it's someone you really, truly care about and love. Kitty! Someone is literally doing drag race. I'm like, I'm thinking they're watching the Super Bowl. Damn.
Yeah, yeah. You wanna, you know, do a little party for you, you know, your your boy toy. Oh, that's sweet. But then, you know, what if you had a brother or a sister? You would have to vow to get, you know, presents to them as well. And your family, your dad, your mom, duh. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you could get him something, though. I mean, you know, you are, like, you're not really dating yet. You're trying to figure it out and such. But, you know, you could be nice and give him a gift, I'm just saying. Hmm. Aww, it's so cute. You just want like a guy to just, or a girl, you know, just that somebody to just instantly fall in love with you. <laughs> Really? Be okay, you got the uh -huh. <laughs> God. Oh my god, I literally forgot. Yeah, because it's Demon Slayer, and if we all hear him as a Nosuke on Sundays as well, damn it. <laughs> All because of the can. <laughs> All because of the candy. Oh, work that magic, baby. Oh my god, baby. Wait, did he just keep the rabbit? 
<gasps> oh, that's so cute! So fucking cute, I'm gonna die. <laughs> ah! Yeah, and fast. We're getting closer and closer to graduation every single day for him. You do want to date him, don't you? You do want to be with him in that, in that way, right? Right? Like, mm? You can't read it because, you know, when you're sitting there, you're just imagining that you and Suzaki are the main characters. Because we all do that. Especially when it's an ex-reader type. Woo! Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, most girls really love the crap out of BL. I mean, it's good. <laughs> oh, okay. Makes sense. What are you doing, Cody? Well, I mean, you're cute, honestly. Like, once again, he he is one of the guys that I would also fall in love with because, you know, the glasses thing. And it, it, it's something about anime guys and glasses that it, it does something to me. I literally cannot explain, but, like, I just love it. Plus, there are some good-looking guys in real life who also look so freaking good in glasses as well. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just still thinking. <laughs> he 
just wanted that moment. He wanted that moment to touch him. Ah! <laughs> Stop it! Please, I can't. My heart, I cannot take this. I'm sorry for the sound. <laughs> it's so fucking cute. Oh, are we walking home together? Well, yeah, because I got to touch it yesterday. Mm -hmm. Really? Oh. Mm -hmm. so good right there. So you basically admired him. So, so then tell him, tell him what you actually want to say.
Hey, it's something than nothing. I'm glad that you said that. <laughs> That makes me happy too. <laughs> no reason. But he'll still love you no matter what. is that Miano is thinking about it and he told Suzaki that he's gonna still consider thinking about it and wanting to possibly be with him. Oh my god. Yes! Yes! Oh my god. Like, give it to me. So bad. Like, I need it. It's like, oh, but he he is really gonna truly, I feel like we're gonna have a whole episode where we're, we go into... Miano's mind and thinking of the pros and cons of being with Suzaki. I mean, he's technically listed like a little bit, but not as much. I love the fact that he even said he was like, you know what, there might be a day that, you know, when I turn 50, I'm not going to look the same way I look now. I might look taller. I might look like this and I might look like that. But if he truly loves you, it won't matter to him what you look like. It, it, if your love for that person is true and genuine no matter what they look like in five years 10 years 15 years or 20 years they're still always going to be that person you fell in love with this is very similar to when a man really loves his wife and after you know they have a couple of kids and she doesn't look the same that she did as a teenager or like in her early 20s and such oh I don't want to pressure him oh my god um he still loves her even more than he did the first time that he saw her and such it's so fucking cute like uh because of course there is always one day you know we're not gonna look the same way that we look now and you I, I think me as a woman um and going into the dating scene and finding someone like okay of course my biggest insecurity is like how I kind of look now and such even though I'm very confident and I'm sweet and I'm funny um and, and very like I can be sexy and this is that and the third and such I get a little like stressed especially with the way I look and insecure with the way I look and so I feel like oh hey like I could be on a date with someone or I could hang out with them or just getting to know the guy like especially with one of the, one of my exes I you know got to know him like very we like went very fast into our relationship and stuff but there were times where I would sit there and think oh no he's not gonna be with you da, da, da. like you're you know your harshest critic is yourself at the end of the day and I feel like there's going to be a point 
it might happen to either one of them because they're both in this cute little honeymoon phase and such as of right now, even though like only one has confessed to the other and the other one hasn't confessed yet. Who really knows how this is going to go, you know? I mean, but I really hope that, you know, Miyano is able to say yes to Sasaki because, I mean, they deserve each other. Like, they're just so fucking cute! And I cannot with them once again. Like, it's just uh, the fact that he, like, covered his eyes and he, like, lingered his hand on the Reiki Mia space. Like, oh, that was so cute. And then he walks away and he just looks at his hand and he's like, yeah. I just touched my boyfriend, like, oh, like, oh, yes, just, mm, I can't, it's a drug every single day of the freaking week, oh my god, Jesus, freaking Christ, I literally cannot with this show, <laughs> once again. but other than that, guys, that is my reaction to us, episode 6 of Sasaki to Miyano. If you guys enjoyed it, <laughs> please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially next Sunday, Monday, for Episode 7. Bye, guys.